Wait, actually, do you have a twin sister? Is that something I made up in my head? I, I don't have a twin sister. Oh. All right, well, that's that. This week on a very special Tuesday, we have special guest Natalie Tran. <laughs> yeah. <Yay. laughs> do you often give advice to your community? Uh, no, and if I ever do, I hope they never take it on because I'm not a role model of any sort. Oh, wow. So you're not really like a community-oriented channel? Yeah. I, I had that coming. I had that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go first? No. No, please don't make me go first. I will shoot myself. <laughs> I should drop off. You can't give advice. Our first question comes from my evil eagle. My evil eagle asks how to get over someone. Okay, okay, I got this. Give me them beats. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Ah, uh, how to get over someone? First, you gotta get a running start. Then you take a big old leap and hope you don't. Fart on their head. They'll never come back for more. The best way to get over someone is to walk out the door. It's really a show about rhyming, I feel. <laughs> 90s are back. How do you get over someone? I cry and I cry. No, I would probably. I don't know. I keep their hair in my pocket until one day I take it to the washing machine. I forget to take it out and then I lose it. And then you're over someone. Is that like like a like is that like voodoo? Yeah. Natalie, your question is your question comes to us from Earth to Sarah. What is love? That's not an advice question. Oh no. Alright, five, six, seven, eight. Oh good, one with a definite melody. Oh, am I meant to just over this? No. This is surely the intro where it's like Hannah and Natalie presents the most atmospheric experience of your life. Let's do another one. Oh no, <laughs> this is the worst. What is love, you might ask? Well, that's a pretty hard task to answer, but I'd say it's sort of the way you... No, I can't. You're doing great, this is awesome. Love is what you feel when you look at food. Love is anything that makes you feel good. I can say it like that because I have an accent and you can't tell when it... I don't know. That. Love is what you feel when you look at food. <laughs> that is great. Add real good. I really, you know, I think that was really good. There's actually a word for that type of rhyme where it's like a visual rhyme. <laughs> Take it away. I love Gummy Unicorns asks, how to not be bored? Uh-uh. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Okay. This is mainly a walking one. Okay. It's good to be interested in multiple types of things. Let's say you like baking or making chicken wings. Oh, the best way to so not be good. bored is to constantly learn. If you're bored, you are boring. Sorry. Ooh, sweet burn. If you're bored, it's because you you can't think of anything interesting to do. Yes, I once heard that only boring people get bored. Do you think that's true? No, because I get bored all the time and I'm awesome. <laughs> Next question. Natalie. Adelaide asks, how to not stay in bed all day? Can I do this? Yeah. yeah. You look through. really cool. Thank you. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is all I can do. Can I just do this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, you asked me how to stay in bed all day, and this is kind of what I have to say. Think about all the things that you could do, like go outside and eat some food. That's all I have to say in rhyme, because apparently that's all I can say is food. Just go and eat food. This is my answer there. Break up. <laughs> Live question. <laughs> just go and eat food. Just go and eat food. I actually don't have an answer to that. I would just pull the laptop up to my chest, feel the heat, and when it gets too hot, push it away and go back to bed. Future editing, Hannah, I'd love to relive um, the guitar slide moment that we began with. <laughs> oh, will you Oh yeah! I'd like to just stay back here for a minute. <laughs> All right. How to be me without really trying asks. Oh wait, that's not the question. That's the no, username. That's the username. 
ask, how do you go from friendship to more than friendship? Well, you certainly start by rubbing shoulders, <laughs> provocatively. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey, dude, I don't want to be so rude. But I've been knowing a change in attitude. It's got to do with food. I like how it all came back to food again, though. Have you ever had a friend who you know has a crush on you, but they don't know that you know? And if so, how did you tell? I've never have been in that situation. Really? No. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. That stuff's only in Dawson's Creek from what I know. <laughs> This is why classic Joey syndrome. <laughs> classic Joey syndrome. Are you saying that because you're from Australia? There's lots of kangaroos. No, Joey and Dawson. Joey. Oh, Joey. Oh, we don't think about our native animals. Here's a good warning sign. Here's a good way to tell if your your friend has a crush on you and they're trying to hide it. They're always trying to kiss you. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Natalie, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having me. If you guys want to see more of Natalie and the awesome, hilarious stuff she does, click anywhere over wherever I've annotated to and check out her channel. Um, and to see more of what I do, subscribe for videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Woo, 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 woo. She's good. She's good, like food. What's your favorite kind of food? Uh, cheese and carbs. Please never leave. Okay. <laughs>